Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my official siege rant. I know, shocking video from Wham. What was dislike for siege and Age of Pals for? Not really a surprise from anybody who comes, who consumes my content, especially on Twitch. But uh, sadly, these are the things I think about daring. Um, I mean, a bit sad, but it is the truth. I I often think about how much better this game would be if Siege just wasn't just if this Siege experience in Airy Pool was not so crappy. I really, really hate the Siege experience in Airy Pool. I just want to preference that. Now, I do believe that most most people in this game also hate it, and I don't think that's really a controversial opinion. I see often. Um, on Reddit especially. Whenever Siege is buffed or Siege is too overwhelming, you get tons of Siege hate posts. Um, and obviously it's just not from Reddit. I think Raj, like, I've, it's also coming from other competitive players as well. Um, but yeah, there's this... Almost understanding that nobody likes Siege in this game. I don't think that's, like, controversial at all. But if it is, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions about it as well. Um, but for a second, imagine that Siege was not so overwhelming Major on Pass 4. Let's imagine, just for, I don't know, a thought experiment, that the Spring Lord was removed. Obviously, if you follow my content, I did host this mod. Uh, show match where the spring ult was not in the game. But let's imagine that the spring ult was not in the game, right? Um, obviously you would have to know from Mango now as well, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Units would instantly become more useful in the game with the North Mango, um, because you would have essentially no other alternative to killing, killing things in the game. Like, Siege would not be such an overwhelming aspect. You could not just camp in your base with Mangnels, with Spring Lords, etc. Um, so units would be more powerful in this game. And it would also be amazing for so many other reasons. Okay, so first of all, let's be honest. If I asked 100 people about Siege in Area 4, I'm pretty sure that 99 people would say that they hate the experience of Siege. Right? Second of all, Age of Empires, I think, this is not, again, controversial to say that Age of Empires focus is very heavily on creating a historically accurate experience in across all their game titles, right? And that's a good part of Age of Empires 4. I think, um, I think most agree that having a relationship to the history, uh, history in this game is positive, right? So... Why then a Spring Lord such a massive <laughs> part of Age of Empires 4? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, people didn't go um, slugging around big Spring Olds, uh around in battlefields. Now, I, you know, there were cases, I'm sure, but I, I just looked up Spring Olds now, and Spring Old was mostly a defensive structure on a tower, right? So, and they were definitely not used to snipe Maganels in battle. <laughs> that it, even if it's real, it's a thing. What, no, not that I'm admitting they were. They were not used to snipe Maganels in battle. Straight up. Okay, so... Like I said, not historically accurate. Not fun. Um... So those... So yeah, so... Not so great, not fun. And then third, imagine a world where because Spring Lords are not in the game, trebuchets become much better, right? Because they are more difficult to snipe. Uh, so your trebuchets attacking a heap or something are not so much vul not vulnerable to Spring Lords just sniping them and then walking back into their own keep. Right there. Like that. So... Anti-building Siege is better, and I think everyone can agree that that would probably be a good thing if anti-siege was better. We like killing stuff. It's not, it's not, 
a secret that people like killing stuff in games. People also like building stuff, such as a keep. They like def big defenses that kill stuff, and so you can get the best of both worlds. You can have big trebuchets that kill things, and you can have big keeps that are really, really strong. But they're strong because you have a trebu a really good trebuchet, less vulnerable to springholds, that will allow you to kill this stuff. So you can have the best of both worlds, and on top of that, you could have really effective units in the game. That is the core aspect I think I'm trying to drive. Units should be better in this game. Siege should not. <laughs> but in proxy, um, because Spring Ultimate on the game, you could have an effective trebuchet, you could have an effective keep, etc. But the main thing would be that units would be the primary driver on the game. Okay, so just going over it. Imagine a world without keeps. No one likes keeps. I mean, sorry, without spring holds, no one likes siege. Let's just be realistic. Um, not historically accurate, and units would be better, trebuchets would be better, keeps would be better. I think that's all positive stuff. Um, again, correct me if you disagree with anything. Maybe you, maybe you like units to be shit, and you just like to play with spring holds and target your two spring holds from across the map. Like it's to me, I'd rather, I don't know do anything else, but, you know, everyone has their own opinion. I mean, this game is, uh, if you watch my sh stream, obviously this is an opinion I hold, well, I express consistently, but this game is so good, so good in Feudal, so good in early castle, but then once you hit that status where attacking is kind of bad, and siege becomes almost mandatory because it's so difficult to attack, that is when I really start to dislike the game. Anyway, moving on. Um, now, obviously, the main argument to keeping Spring Olds in the game is that... Oh, okay. Sure, people don't like Siege, right? I don't like Siege, but you need Siege for balance. If you don't have Siege, people are just going to be running around with melee units all over the place. Um, yeah, you need Siege for balance. And what I say to that is, first of all, I don't think you need Siege for balance. I think you could balance this game without Siege, and it would still be a very, very fun game. More fun. <laughs> I don't know why it would be still be. It would be extremely, it would be way, 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 way more fun. Okay? Um, I would love to prove this more, but first of all, I did host a show match on a mod without Spring Alts with the massively reduced Megano and Nest to be Strength. Um... And although we only saw one game with the Nest Bees, it turned out to be decently balanced, I would say. Now, obviously, this would need more testing, but the idea is there. And yes, this can be balanced with, with um, without Spring Alts. And again, I am a very competitive player, uh, not just because I'm good at Age of Impossible, 4, but just in general, I am competitive. I like to be good at things. Not not saying that you have to, right? You can just play things casually. There's nothing wrong with that. But I, the point is, I want things to be balanced, right? I don't want to be playing an unbalanced game. Um, and as somebody who wants things to be balanced, I believe this game can be very, very, very balanced without Spring Alts. Okay? But let's take their side for a little bit. Let's say, okay, fair point. Um, in some way, this game cannot be balanced without uh, Spring Alts. Sure, you did it in edge every age, every RTS in history, but this this particular game, Age of Empires 4, cannot be balanced without the Spring Alt unit. The worst unit in the game, it, everyone hates it, but we need it. Necessary Evo. Okay. But then why is balance such an... Why is balance not such an important aspect in other areas of Age of Empires 4? I would argue that this this game, Age of Empires 4, is not primarily focused on balance. This isn't because I don't think the devs care about balance. They do. Trust me, they do. They make large efforts to make the game balanced, right? In balance patches, um, consistently, probably the most thing we see from the devs is balance, Civ balance patches. And that's a good thing, I think, obviously. But um, 
so so why do I not think that balance is primary driver of this game, right? And I I think it's not primary the driver of this game because I would say overall that this game is primarily focused on creating a fun, repeatable world building medieval strategy game, right? Fun should be the primary focus of this game. And balance comes along with that. But even in that case, there are examples in this game where balance is shown not to be the primary driver of how things are done. And you don't have to look very far to see um, cases where balance is not primary. Two examples come to my mind with this, right? Sheep and spawns. Now, if balance was the most important thing of it, about Age of Empires 4, why do these two things exist? Right? Why is sheep in the game? Have you played the... I mean, there's no chance if you play Age of Empires 4, 1v1, compared to real team games, for example, any, any Age of Empires 4 game, that you have not gotten absolutely fucked on sheep. That you have not been in this spawn, I mean, the situation of going getting two sheep to your opponent's 18 or something. Now, is that balanced? <laughs> I would argue no, obviously, but as a competitive player, sheep is one of the most crucial things you can be getting in the early game. You having two sheep to, let's say, let's say you're HRE, you get two sheep, and your deli opponent gets 18 sheep. You could call GG right there. Like, in such an aggressive game, how are you going to build units with sh two sheep? Like, it's just, just not possible, guys. So if balance is so important, then why is sheep in the game? And second of all, spawns. Um, why, why are randomized spawns a thing? Look at this game, for example. Baltoon's Gold is in such an amazing spot against a Mago Pile. How is this Mog player supposed to harass this goal? They're supposed to walk through the base and then all through this little thing here and walk all the way around just to get hit by the TC? Is that what they're supposed to do? And there are many, many more examples of this. For instance, I saw a, a game on Reddit. Somebody was complaining about a, a spawn, a Hill and Dale spawn, where it was a team game. The big gourds were so favored towards one side of the map. So I ask again, if balance is such an important aspect of HM Pass 4, then why why is spawns not static like in StarCraft? Why is sheep not you're given eight sheep or something and then there's four on the map or something, right? And now if it was up to me, I would probably standardize those things a little bit more but it's not right so the decisions that are being made are not based purely on balance and siege for some unknown reason has not yet to be changed and <laughs> i god hope it's balanced but i i mean i don't think you can make a fair argument of these other things that are in the game so um yeah, and I reiterate. Want, want, I want to reiterate my main point. Does anybody actually like watching or playing Siege Wars? No, I don't think so. Um, is it fun to, for you to make an entire army just to never attack because Siege is camping inside their base? Is it is it fun to, I don't know, have a trebuchet attacking a keep and then it just gets sniped by a springhold? And then they just repair that keep and then you have to build... Five more trebuchets to catch up, or alongside five more springholds to, to actually kill that. Tre Is that fun? No. Medieval games should primarily be about units because let's be honest, in the medieval history, you're not units are the primary driver of armies. For modern times, I mean even modern times, right? Armies are still primary. So what made made me make this video? Obviously, this is something I care deeply about. But I was watching this game yesterday, and I, mean, I guess this is the primary reason. Because I was watching this game yesterday, and it was so 
Aurelius. In a sad kind of way. Not that either of these piles um, are doing anything wrong, right? This, they're just playing Agent Pass 4, but I just found a state of the game was a certain point just very funny slash sad. And I just, I just want nothing more. Literally nothing more in my life. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but nothing more in Agent Pass 4 than for them to fix Siege. If they fix Siege, I would take anything. <laughs> you could make Byzantine's the most broken civ of all time. You can make give Mali their broken scouts back. I would take that over the current Siege meta. And uh, this isn't like I'm not gonna make an argument here. I just found this for areas. Just, just watching all team camp with like five mangonels. Like seriously, what do you, what are you supposed to do? In this, as certain here. I mean, the game is over at this point. He has fifty nine villages, but fact remains, you can't attack this. Like you have spring ults, but all team can just run back further into his base, right? Can't kill that many mangonels that quick before your entire army of forty. Five crossbows dies. And this is a useless army. Let's be real. This is the worst army of all time. 45 crossbows. Um, but yeah, I just found this game very, very funny. Um, Boltune is so he far ahead in this game. Three TCs. But he just doesn't attack. Because he doesn't need to. Anyway, um... Oh, this is uh, EGC's Ma Master of Realms, by the way. So if you guys are watching this video, um, and you don't know about it, check it out. It's obvious, right? I'm participating in it as well. It's obviously awesome to have a uh, pair of Asian Pals 4 games. So check them out. Shout out to EGC TV. But look at this. Five Spring Olds, five Mangonels. It just saddens me, like, and not because you know Baltin is not an amazing player. It's just the game is already over, right? But it's just, just doesn't need to do anything but just camp in his base with a billion siege units. It, it's it's funny in a sad kind of way. I mean, this is the main points of my my uh, argument for not having Siege in the game. I just think it's so... Such terrible gameplay when it gets to stuff like this, right? Is this why you're playing Age of Empires 4? So you can build a bunch of Siege units and, and hide in your base? I mean, that's not what I thought of. Think of when I want to play Age of Empires 4. I like to use mostly units to do stuff, right? You'd think so. It's. I just want to reiterate because this is such, and I think of like Beastie in, in a sort of way, right? People would call him CG Cutie, right? And that's not even that's not even an insult, right? Right? Because that's just how you play the game. Like, I, it's not meant as an insult. It's just if you want to win the game, play like this sometimes. Often, often it's the best style to play. So it's, yeah, it's just, I just don't want this to be the best out of, best way to play the Age of Empires 4, it shouldn't be. Okay, so I, I'm gonna look at a couple more things, I think I wanted to check out Reddit, because I found I mean, this at this point, this video is just comedy, but I found some more Reddit stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to go over Reddit quick here because I thought it was very... gives you a lot of insight into siege progression and balance over the years, and it's, it's funny, to be honest. It's so funny, in a sad way, but 
I mean, there's so many threads here, and you can tell by the dates that they are all over the place. This is two years ago, three years ago, um, four days ago, nine months ago. I mean, I, I haven't looked at all of these. We can scroll through a bit here. Um, most of them, though, is about how Siege is just not fun. Um, and let's take this one, for example. Three years ago, Smash is an absurd amount of spring and Siege, cannons, blah, blah, blah. Uh, siege change sucks. Um, want to change Siege. Ideas for more enjoyable Siege Warfare two months ago. Siege to tank in mobile three years ago. Siege help. So I was struggling with Siege. Yep. It's just like, is this ever going to change kind of thing, you know? It's just like... Each has been an issue since the start of the game, since the inception of Age of Empires 4, and you have to wonder if it's ever going to change. Um, yeah. There's so many, so many suggestions. Increasing pop, hacking time, um, I myself have made a lot, uh, removing spring holds, no permanganals, etc., making them cost stone, AoE, Sorry, friend fire is one of them. Um, but yeah, people are just not happy with Siege, and it's been like that for forever. So you have to ask, is it ever going to change? And if it if it isn't, what what are we going to do about it? Because I, mean, I would like, I mean, maybe not for them to listen to the community. I mean, yes, but like not. I mean, it isn't always correct, but when there was a persistent issue like this for so long, you have to kind of at least acknowledge the issue. Like, I don't think we've even gotten an acknowledgement that Siege is an issue in this game. Too. Like, nobody likes it. I absolutely love every pool. I think the counter system for units is awesome. The gameplay is interesting and unique. I mean, ag agreed. Amazing. This game is amazing. Having said that, I think Siege is becoming a big problem in Area 4. They are a very well balanced unit. They do barely damage. The problem is that games often quick one. Like, I haven't read these. Uh, these threads before. But it's just. It's just obvious, right? Like, this is what's going to be said. People don't like it. Siege breaks the uniqueness of civs. This occurred to me the other day. The occurred to me the other day. I could go... Th I could spend 10 minutes on this... On this, uh... This page, I guess. Because there's just so much to talk about. People just do not like Siege. It's just obvious. They hate it. I, I hate it as well. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, it's something has to be done. And I thought, for the final segment of the video, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at Hera. Now, a bit of a meme, I know, but... Um... No, he's he makes a point I think in the video that I feel still today. So let's one second. Sorry, one second, guys. I mean, it's not an important video, but I just found it. 
It's kind of funny. How fun this game would be if you actually have to play with units. If you can't just sit on top of a hill and just sit behind with like 10 Spring Gold and 2 Magna. Imagine how fun the game would be. Imagine the raids, the back and forth. Instead, we're just sitting around doing literally nothing. So cancer. He doesn't say much more than this, but it's just a sentiment. He literally has literally let me work at Microsoft. It's just a sentiment in this game that this has been such a problem for such a long period of time. Like, since Hera played the game. And it just, it really hasn't changed that much. Like, honestly, what has changed about Siege? Okay, the torches, okay, you fumbled around with a few things, but like, it has not really gotten better. We still deal with this inherent problem in the game that Siege is not fun to play against. Yeah, just straight up, it's just not fun. There's something about Siege and Airy 4 that is not fun. So, sorry for the rant, the rant video, guys. Um, you know, I just, it's something I'm really passionate about, and I really do have to make this video for my own sanity, because I have to tell, tell everyone, this needs to be fixed. Age of Empires would be so much better without Siege, without Spring Olds. Something has to be done, and... Yes. Okay? But, yeah. Not... I'm I'm sure you've heard this opinion from me many times if you watch my content, but again, must be said. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys on my Twitch, hopefully. Peace, guys. Take care.